Hi and welcome to this video lesson on Jerry's Breakdown by Jerry Reed. This is a fantastic showpiece that appeared on Jerry's album Me and Chet made in 1972. I believe Jerry played a nano string guitar and Chet Atkins played the electric guitar part. And in this video I'm going to show you both lead guitar parts. Before we start, let me just say that this piece has a lot of notes, so unless you want to memorize the whole thing, you might want to grab yourself some kind of music paper so you can write it all down. If you need any kind of paper, you can find on my website everything you need. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy it. The intro starts with three double stop. The G string on the first fret and the open E string. Then 2nd fret on the G, top E open, 3rd on the G and top E open again. Then we go into this banjo roll thing. A G string on the 3rd fret, hammer on the 4th fret, then again 4th fret, top E open, B open, G on the 4th, and again top E open, B open, slide up to the 4th on the G, then B open, slide up to the 4th, top E open, B open, the G on the 4th, top E open, B open, slide up to the 4th, open B, slide up to the 4th, open E, open B, open G, then hammer on the 1st fret, is we're putting down like an E chord, then open B, 2nd fret on the D and the top 2 strings open 2nd fret on the D and top 2 strings open so this is leak 1 Lick number 2 of the intro starts on the 4th fret of the G string, open B, then 6th on the G, open E, 3rd on the B, 6th on the G, open E, open B, 4th on the G, open B, then slide down from 3 to 2 on the G string, open E, open B, open G, hammer on the 1st fret, then open B, 2nd fret on the D string, open D string, 2nd on the A string, then pull off the 1st fret and then the open string, 3rd on the bottom E and the bottom E open, then finish with the E chord. And this is the 2nd lick of the intro. Lick one of the melody starts on the 7th fret of the top E string, pull off to the 5th fret, then 8th on the B, open E, 9th on the B, open E, 7th on the B, 8th on the G, open E, open B, 7th on the G, open B, 6th on the G, 8th on the D, open B and open G. And this is how the first leak goes. Leak number two starts on the seventh fret of the D string, open B, 
6 on the G, hammer on to the 7th fret, open E, 7th on the B, hammer on the 8, open E, then 7th on the B, 8 on the G, open E, open B, 5th on the G, hammer on the 6th, and then open E. And this is lick number 2. The next lick is exactly like lick 1, so just repeat lick 1. Then lick 3 starts on the 8th fret of the D string. 7th on the B, 6th on the G, so we get into this position. Then open E, 7th on the B, 8th on the D. Open E, open B, so remove the position, 6th on the G string, open B, 7th on the G, and 5th on the top E, open B, 8th on the G string, open E, and open B, and this is the third lick. Then we'll repeat lick 1 and 2. Lick 2. So, so far this is what we've got. Lick 1. Lick 2. Lick one again. Lick three. Now again, lick one. Lick two. And now we need to look at the ending. Lick 4A starts with 9th on the G string. Open E. 8 on the G, slide up to 9th. Open B. 9th on the G. Open E. Open B. Then 12th on the G. Open E. 13th on the G. Open E. 7th on the B. 9th on the G. Open E. 9th on the B. 12th on the G, 9th again on the B string, 11th on the D string, then open E, open B, open G, hammer on the 1st fret, open B, then 2nd fret, and we play like an E chord, these are the top 4 notes of the E chord, so after the D string on the 2nd fret, we play the top three strings, then again the D string on the second, and the top three strings of the E chord. So top two strings open and the G on the first fret. So this is lick 4A. Repeat again lick 1, lick 2, lick 1, lick 3, lick 1, lick 2, and this time we're going to a slightly different ending, we'll call it lick 4B. Lick 4B starts exactly in the same way as lick 4A, so 9th on the G, 
open E, eighth on the G, and slide up to ninth, open B, and ninth on the G, open E, open B, twelve on the G, open E, thirteen on the G, open E, seven on the B, ninth on the G. And here it changes. Open E, open B, then slide up to the fourth fret of the G string, open B, slide up again to the fourth fret, open E, open B, open G, hammer on the first fret, open B, and then we go into the usual E chord where we pick the D string on the second fret and the top three strings. So first on the G and top two strings open. And this is lick 4B. Let's recap the A section. Lick 1. Lick 2. Lick 1 again. Lick 3. Lick 1. Lick 2, Lick 4A, and again Lick 1, Lick 2, Lick 1 again. Lick 3 Lick 1 Lick 2 And now Lick 4B We're now at the beginning of the B section of the melody. Let's play the 11th on the D 9th on the B, 11th on the G, top E, open. 9th on the B, 11th on the D, open E, 9th on the B. So the arpeggio goes like this. I said arpeggio because the left hand is not really doing much. I'm playing, I'm holding a chord position basically, which is 11th on the D, 11th on the G, ninth on the B and open string on the E. The second finger is not really doing anything. In the camera it might look like my second finger is doing something, but it's not. It's just there. Now try to memorize that arpeggio because we have to repeat it four times, moving the bass note, the D string, one fret down every time, like this. Everything else is the same. So we start with this, which is 11, 11, 9, open. We go into 10, 11, 9, open. Then 9, 11, 9, open. 8, 11, 9, open. So the entire lick 5, which is the opening of the B section, goes like this. Six starts on the 10th fret of the D string, 8 on the B, 11th on the G, top E string open, then again 8 on the B, 10 on the D, like this. 
then we play the open E string and we move the whole thing up one fret. We play 9th on the B, 12th on the G, 9th on the B, 11th on the D, then open top E, B, 3rd fret, which is part of an E chord, on the G string. Then again, open E, open B. Then we go into the E chord where we play the D string on the 2nd fret, and the top three strings of the E chord, which is first fret on the G and top two strings open. And we repeat that four times. So one, two, three, four. So the entire lick six goes like this. Now repeat lick 5 exactly as before, so same positions. And then we go into lick 7, which is the end of the B section. Lick 7 starts in the same way as lick 6, so we start with the 10th fret on the D string, 8 on the B. 11th on the G, open E. Again, 8 on the B, 10 on the D. Open E, open B, then slide up to the 9th fret of the G string, open E. Slide up again on the G string 9th fret, top E again, 5th um, fret on the B string, 5th on the G string, top E open, B open, then 4th on the G, open B, 6th on the G, open E, 3rd on the B, 6th on the G, open E, open B, 4th fret on the G string. Then we have 3 double stop. G string on the 4th fret and top E, G string on the 6th fret and top E, G string on the 9th fret and top E. And this is how lick 7 goes. Okay, let's review the entire B section. After the B section, we play the last A section, and it goes like this. Lick one. Lick two. Lick one again. Lick three. Lick one. Lick two. And now, as an ending, we have the last ending, which is Lick 4C. Lick 4C starts exactly in the same way as Lick 4A and 4B. Ninth on the G string, 
top E string open. Eighth on the G, slide up to ninth, open B. Ninth on the G, open E, open B. Twelve on the G string, open E. Thirteen on the G, open E. Seventh on the B, ninth on the G, open E, open B. Fourth on the G string, open B. Then third fret on the G string, pull off to the second fret, open B, open G, hammer on the first fret, open B, second fret, which is part of an E chord, second fret on the D string, then top three strings of the E chord, which is one on the G and top two strings open, and again the D string on the second. So lick for C goes like this. Let's try a general review of the entire main section. Lick one. Lick two. Lick one again. Lick three. Lick one. Lick two. Lick four A. And again from the top, lick one. Lick two. Lick one again. Lick three. Lick one. Lick two. Lick four B. B section, licks five. Licks six. And again, lick five coming up. Lick seven. Lick one. Lick two. Lick one again. Lick one. Lick two. Lick four C. The ending starts exactly like lick one in the main section. Seventh on the top E, pull off to the fifth. Eighth on the B, open E. Ninth on the B, open E. Seventh on the B, eighth on the G, open E, open B. Seventh on the G, open B. Sixth on the G, eighth on the D, open B. First on the G, then 
open bottom E. Then we play the 5th fret on the D string, pull it off to the 2nd fret and then to the open string. Then 2nd fret on the G string and a double stop on the G and B strings, G on the 2nd and 3rd on the B. Then we play 4th fret on the G string, pull off to the 2nd fret, then to the open string. Then 2nd finger on the D string, open D. 2nd again on the D string, which is now part of an E chord, and we end with the E chord. And this is the ending lick. Regarding the picking hand, we're not going to look at the picking directions of every single lick in the tune. That's really not necessary. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is that the thumb pick always plays the lowest note if you're playing a double stop or if you're playing an arpeggio. It's always the lowest note. The other notes will be played by index and middle. And Jerry's breakdown has a lot of reverse banjo rolls. So if you are new to that, you can check out a video that I've got on that. Otherwise, just relax the hand. And everything should fall into place quite naturally. The only weird thing is the very ending where Jerry Reed uses a flamenco technique where you spread all the fingers out, starting from the little finger and you get this very strong chord. I'll step away from the mic so you can hear that effect. It's not essential but it adds a nice touch. So picking hand wise, this is pretty much it, there's no real secret. Chet Atkins solo starts on the A string. We slide up to the 7th fret twice. Then we play a double stop. We slide up to a double stop, which is 7th on the A and 6th on the D. Then same double stop two frets down, 5th on the A and 4th on the D. Then slide down to the 5th fret of the bottom E string, then 3rd on the bottom E string. Then we go into this long scale, which starts on the bottom E, 12 and 14, then A string, 11, 12, 14, same on the D string, 11, 12, 14, then on the G string, 11, 13, 14, B string, 12, 14, 15, top E string, 12, 14, 15, 12, 14, then B string on the 15th fret, top E string on the 12th, B string again, 14, 15, 12, 14, G string, 15 fret, B string, 12 fret, G string, 14, 15, 14. And this is the opening lick of Chet Atkins solo. it's all on the G and B strings and it's all on double stops. We play the 12th fret on the G and the 11th on the B. Slide it up one fret so you get on the 13th and 12th fret, then 14 on both. Then again slide up to 13th and 12th, 14 on both. Slide up again to 13th and 12th, 14 on both. Then again 14 on both, and slide it up one fret so you get 15 on both strings, then back to 14, 
on both strings. Then slide up again to 13 and 12. And this is lick two. Lick three starts on the 14th fret of the A string, then D, 11 and 14, then double stops on the G and B strings, slide up to 13 on the G and 12 on the B, then 14 on both, then again 13 on the G, 12 on the B string, and then play the 14th fret on the D string and the open E string, and this note should be the same. So this is the beginning of lick 3, then repeat it again, but this time the double stop is just sliding up to the 12th fret, 14 and 12. Everything else is the same. So lick 3 goes like this. Lick 4 starts exactly the same way as Lick 3, so 14 on the A string, then on the D string 11 and 14, then again a double stop. Uh, on the G and B strings, let's start with 12 on the G and 11th on the B, slide it up one fret, so you get 13 and 12, then 14 on both. Then slide up to 16 on the G and 15 on the B. Then again 14 on both and finish sliding up to the 13 on the G and 12 on the B. Then A string 14 fret, D string 11 and 14. And this is lick 4. Lick 5 starts on the G string, 11, 12, 13, and 12 on the top E string. Then again, 11, 12, 13, and 13 on the top E string. Again, 11, 12, 13, and 12 on the top E string. So the first half of this lick is this. Then we move down to the 9th fret and we play 9, 10, 11 on the G and 11 on the top E string. Then the same thing one fret down, G string 8, 9, 10, top E string on the 10. One fret down again, G string 7, 8, 9, top E string on the 9th. This is the second half. So lick 5 goes like this. Lick 6 starts exactly in the same way. G string 11, 12, 13, then 12 on the top E string. Again, on the G string 11, 12, 13, and 13 on the top E string. Then again, 11, 12, 13, 12 on the top E string, 11, 12, 13, and 13 on the top E string. So, like this. Then we move the whole thing two frets up, and we play on the G string 13, 14, 15, and 15 on the top on the top E, like this, and we'll repeat it twice. And then the same thing, one fret down. So lick six goes like this.
Lick 7 starts exactly in the same way. G string, 11, 12, 13, 12 on the top E. Then G frets down on the G string, 9, 10, 11, top E on the 10. Then G string, 7, 8, 9, top E on the 9th. G string, 5, 6, 7, top E on the 7th. G string, 4, 5, 6, top E on the 5th. G string 2, 3, 4, top E on the 3. Again, same, 2, 3, 4, and 3 on the top. Then we play 3 goats notes, and the 5th fret on the B string. And this is how lick 7 goes. Picking wise, we are starting with the pick, then index, pick, middle. And that's the pattern for the picking hand. So pick, index, pick, middle, pick, index, pick, middle, pick, index, pick, middle. To practice it, you can just take any one of these shapes for the fretting hand and just practice that. until you feel comfortable with that. Lick 8 starts with two double stops. We slide up to the 5th fret on the B string and we play the B string and the top E string open. Then top E string and the 3rd fret on the B string. Then top E string and the G string on the 2nd fret. Hammer on the 3rd, pull off to the 2nd and then to the open string. Then slide up to the A string, 7th fret. 5th fret, bottom E, 7th, slide down to the 5, 3, and open. And this is lick 8. Lick 9 starts on the D string, we slide up to the 11th fret, then G string, 8, 9, 11, 12, then bend it up a semitone, top E string on the 9th, 12 on the B, 9th on the B, 11th on the G, and bend it a whole tone up, release it, then 9, hammer on to the 11th, then again 9, Go to the D string, 9, 11, and 9 on the G. And this is how lick 9 goes. The last lick of the solo starts on the D string, 9th and 11th fret, then on the G string, 11th, and we bend it up a whole tone. Then D string, 9, 11, G string, 9, 11, bend it up a whole tone, and 9 again. One more time, 9, 11, pick again the 11th and bend it up a semitone this time. While the string is still bent, pick it again release it and play the 11th on the B and this is lick 10. I think Jerry's Breakdown is a fantastic piece of music and I don't know about you but I found it quite difficult, especially for the picking hand. So personally I had to approach it as a study and practice it every day to get it up to speed. I think the key element here is to be very relaxed. So once you've learned where the notes are and how you're going to pick them, then just 
find the speed at which you can play in time and still being very relaxed and then just repeat it over and over and over. You will eventually end up at the full speed, but that takes a little bit of time. If you speed up too early, you're probably gonna tense up and that will come across in the music. Anyway, I've received many requests to do these lessons, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you go to my website, you'll find uh, the baking track and an article that I wrote about these a while ago for a guitar magazine. Anyway, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon for more.